Hello everyone, this is Vipin from hdlguru.blogspot.com and verilogcodes.blogspot.com In this tutorial, I want to show you how to compile and simulate a VHDL program using Silinx ISE. I am using Silinx ISE version 14.6 for this demo. So, let's uh, start by creating a new project. So you go to file, click on new project, type in the name of the project, say for example demo, select the location of the project, next, here you can select uh, which FPGA you want to target, uh, in this demo I would just select Spartan 3 started board, and uh, all the family details, device details, package details will be automatically selected by the tool. You select which language you want to use. I prefer VHDL. Click next. Click on finish. Now we have our project created. The next step would be to create the VHDL codes. For this demo, I am going to use uh, the 4 is to 1 multiplexer code available in my blog. So what I have to do is simply copy paste, copy, go here, right click, new source. I go to I select VHDL module. I select the name of the module as say Max. I click next. Here you can select what input ports and output ports you have. But uh, in this case we already have the code so we don't need to do anything here. Just click next. Finish. And this is the template of the program created by Sailings. So we just have to replace this with the code available in my blog. So this is the MUX code, multiplexer 4 is to 1. You can see you have 4 inputs, I0, I1, I2, I3 and 2 bit select input and a bit out which is the selected output. Now we need a text bench code for this. This is also available in the same post. So let's copy paste that to copy. Same as before. New source. HDL module. TD underscore max. Next. Next. Finish. Again, paste the code here. So, this is the multiplexer code. So, now we have the multiplexer design code and the test bench code. Now, for simulation, simulation you have to select the simulation tab here and select which model you want to simulate behavioral, post translate, post map, post route. For the demo I want to show you a simple simulation so let me select behavioral. Now this is the design, test bench and the multiplexer is instantiated in the test bench. So I select the test bench. Now I can see the iSIM simulator options. So first step would be to check the syntax. The syntax was correct, so process behavioral check syntax completed successfully. Now the next step would be to simulate the model. Double click. If the simulation is successful, I say window will be opened in a new window.
the default time is 1 microsecond for which it will be simulated. Let's zoom out. Now let's verify this design. So when the select is 0, 0, I0 should be the output. So I0 is high and bit out is also high. And when, when select is 0, 1, I1 should be the output. So I1 is 0 and bit out is 0. And when select is 2, that is 1, 0, I2 should be selected. And you can see that 2 is correct. Same for select is equal to 3. So from this waveform we can say that the module is correct. The functionality is verified. Now one more thing I want to show you is in case your internal module, your instantiated module have uh, internal signals which you want to watch for, you can check them here on the test bench here, click on the UUT and it will show you the signals which are available in that particular module. So you can select them and drag and drop them in the waveform window. And again restart and simulate again. So this is how you should see the internal signals. So this is how we simulate a VHDL design using size and size. Thank you.